concentration will be a lot on rural development. And today, this is one of those outcomes. Number two is to come back to the community through project commissioning to tell the community, thank you. Thank you. Communities, thank you. Etina, thank you. Ikorek Bene, thank you. Eket, thank you for all your support. You know, they say, oh, Aquabom is PDP. PDP is not the leaves, it's not the trees. It's the human being. For standing firm by your colors, standing firm to support your party, the party that has brought development into Aquabom is only PDP. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for not allowing us to beg you for votes. All the votes of all other political parties put together is not equal to the vote of PDP. It shows how much you've supported us. So that's why we're using this opportunity. I can't just come and just be talking without results. As I'm talking, I'll show you that this is the result. These are the dividends of democracy. This is why you've been voting for PDP. Continue to vote for PDP. Let me also say here, this road is extremely significant and important because the first leprosy hospital, in fact, by then it wasn't even a leprosy hospital only. The first major hospital within this locality, outside Anwa, was the leprosy hospital down here. And I remember in those days, this road used to be terrible. You couldn't just enter here. And if you go to that hospital, you see a lot of renovation work that we've done there. So much renovation that we've done. We are still trying to change the face of that hospital. When we finish everything we want to do with that hospital, we'll change the name. We are going to change the name. It won't be called Leprosy Hospital again. We we'll look for a better name and give it. We we'll look for a very good name and give that hospital. But let me reserve that for today until I come back. I want to say that we have so many. We've said this over and over again. Please, if we cannot come to your community commission project, anywhere we are, we'll still appreciate this. Because if you count the number of days that I leave office, and the number of projects on ground to commission finished, completed. I think uh, I will, can commission till September. We'll still be continuing. But on this Friday, I think our train will move to Ikorek Bene Senatorial District. We we'll just look for one, probably in Okanafun, about 10 kilometers of road, excluding the spot, and then commission. I think my brother governor of Bayelsa will be here, Diri. Then on May 2nd, we'll move our train to AK. Baba Sanjo will be here. Commission AK 18 Dual carriage. One of the longest with the highway life. Don't worry, it showers of blessings. Uncle Binu, you. Edmund be there, Bontignon. Don't worry. Edmund Kubu, you. Add the showers of blessings. Song that you took the holy water. Uh, song that you took the holy water. I'm out of drop, give them you are blessed. I'm out of drop, give them you are blessed. Thank you. But if it's not going to fall, I can assure you that. Let me also say here that we are actually excited. I thank the contractors, I thank the supervisors, and through this road, I know it's Santum said I should come and commission his own internal roads. We have so many internal roads at Asuna everywhere. I might not be able to come back to do it too. So I use this road as a point of contact to commission the one in Afaiman, commission the one in Asuna by spore into Ikok Banya and the rest of them. Many of the spores along this road, I use this one as a point of contact. So today, I appreciate the support, the people coming out and said that we are going to commission this road today in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And as we have access through this road to the leprosy hospital, every inmate is in that hospital. From today, they are healed in Jesus' name. 
And that hospital will no more be called leprosy hospital. Because there won't be anybody that will suffer such ailments again in Nigeria, outside Nigeria. So by the time we we'll check the name, more will give you the finger, make it back. Don't worry yourself. So I want to say that today we are grateful. We thank everybody. And I hope to see all of you again on Friday at Okanafu when we commission other roads. Iban is also. Eden is also. Youth is also. Mere is also. Oh, yes. Sense of the Lord. I will be my friend with thanksgiving and love. There is joy in my heart and it's flowing like a river. We just select the Lord. We proceed to the commission in front. Chairman of this local government, the contractor, the speaker, speaking for this uh, state constituency, and the latest political leader, thank God, Rome Young, Agbagwood, we commissioned this road for the peaceful use of the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The plaque to the right of this. Brass band be on standby. Government of Akwaibom State. These are five and leprosy hospital roads. Constructed and commissioned by this regime. And today, 19th of April. To God be the glory. Amen. The national anthem, please. of this nature is quite significant to this area as it has not only ended the untold hardship that residents experienced over time but it has also opened up economic activities to the entire area and here we are today the executive governor of Aquaibum State Mr. Udom Emmanuel commissioning this road Already though, this road project comes with a 0.7 kilometer facility, which has arrested the flood challenges that the community faced. It now makes access to the medical facility, that's the Lepasi Hospital facility, better for medical workers and most especially the patients. There is no gain saying the fact that socio-economic developments of advanced societies are directly impacted by the quantum and quality of their infrastructural development. Therefore, across the world, appropriate in functional infrastructure such as power, airports, seaports, roads and railways, among others, constitutes the vital pillars that induce and undergird sustainable socioeconomic advancement. Thus it was with a view to creating socioeconomic development in Aquaibum State that Governor Dom Emmanuel 
has since 2015 made infrastructural development a priority of his administration. During his first term in office, infrastructural consolidation expansion was key in his five-point agenda and in the eight-point completion agenda in term, infrastructure stands on the plank. This is the fact that Governor Emmanuel understands the place of infrastructure in his bid to stimulate faster economic growth and poverty reduction among the people. With priority attention paid to creation development, industrialization, and effort stage to coming on stream of a seaport, Governor Emmanuel has equally accorded priority to enhancing road infrastructure in Aquaibum State. Paramount in the work of the road construction, and these roads are made in the link. Have roads for roads. If you have economic roads, you have roads that help to from the rural environment to the places where so linking the buyers and the sellers which is critical because you can have roads that are just for pleasure roads like the economy to the streets through Etina and through Ona and empty streets into the east west road you see native routes have been the main highway to Port Harcourt was fired you discover that people had alternatives so these are very strategic roads that have constructed to the best of quality. Road infrastructure remains a vital factor in promoting socioeconomic activities and in Nigeria, the responsibility over the years, many roads in Nigeria related state of the they not only hinder economic growth and other really in playing politics with infrastructure development governor Emmanuel rolled his sleeves on the rehabilitation and maintenance of across the state agenda. We talked about and road. Well, I think the entire by when you come out of the airport to your left, we see another one. We are taking from there to link with the east. When you get to the east, get off this one and then into we are green and we straight Etina Etina will take to Ek Ek into Ibno and that will ensure we must have actually ring around the entire state with the dualized thoroughfare of quality. His administration has self-executed projects in hundreds kilometers of roads, including this and flyover. Through the efforts of the administration, areas that were inaccessible have been opened up, making it easy to evacuate agricultural produce from the hinterlands, while commuting time from different parts of the shortened. Done about uh, 213 internal routes in all, all over the state, FGPC routes, that's major contracts. Commissioned, officially completed, 35 are still at different stages of completion. The rest is Among the major road projects so far executed by the Emanuel administration are the dualization of 29 km Etinandunayo Road with two bridges, dualization of 25 km Uyuikoribane Road. Dualization of 35 km Okobodi by east west, dualization of 19.5 km Ekeribona Road, dualization of 9.5 km Ring Road 3.
construction of 18.97 km Abarikoro Koro Manta Road with spore in a back construction point point four one This is a good time. He said, 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 This is a good This road is so bad. Even in Nibani, my both in it. You will remain there. But for now, we change our situation to this. So, we saw me do normal as for now. Even if we do, we see the shop o'clock, 12. We are very free. We are very free. Excellent. And I'm also going to because of. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah, we were going to go there. We were going to go there. We were going to go there. We were going this is very, very useful. This road, the shortcut. God bless him. This is governor, His Excellency, Udom Gabriel Emmanuel. I'm going to go to the Additionally, the administration has accomplished the construction of 8.45 km Ikoru Sub Ikore Dege Ikoreko Road with 30 meter span bridge. Construction of 13.5 km Ikore Biere Ikore Do Ikore Koibun Okon Road. Construction of 12.7 km Awai Man Asong Ikore Dam Ikore Mem Road with two bridges in Ona and Bainin. Construction of 19.317 km Anwambangishe Road and the construction of 3.5 km Ikore Dam Road. Construction of 14 km a back and sere ikoro bankok ikore tem ikori kara te besero pokoro construction of 1.3 km ntedo Dawson street in uyo construction of 5 km mboko cat road construction of 4.6 km college of science and technology road nokam Construction of 4.94 km Ibesidokpokoro Ikori Britam Road. The expansion of Oran Road from Ring Road 3 to Victor Atta International Airport. And the dualization of 9.5 km Ring Road 3 from Akanude Road, Oran Road, Waiban Road. somewhere. <laughs> Missy <laughs> 
The construction of the Ring Road 3 is particularly regarded as an outstanding achievement by the Emanuel administration. This is because before construction of the road, although it existed in the Rio Master Plan, the road since the creation of Aquibum State was never possible. The recent celebration of the 35th anniversary of the creation of Aquibum State witnessed avalanche of road inauguration as well as a number of other life-touching projects of the Dom Emanuel administration. While inaugurating the Ring Road 3 project, former Vice President Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, represented by the Governor of Adamawa State, Amadou Fintari, commended the foresight of Governor Emanuel in executing laudable projects. So for the governor to actualize this, these are automatically as by code users from using Plaza. So every other users who goes to Mwaniba from Oron Road from the airport to Nungudo is automatic diversion for them. So they can use this and decongest our plaza. I think it's a very good dream that is born out of the governor to ensure this project is being completed. This road for the future, opening a 10-lane road, the excellence you've done very, very well. I'm here again today to be part of this history where we are commissioning 9.5, 10-lane. If you multiply 9.5 times 10, that is almost 95 kilometers of road commissioned by our brother, the governor of Aquaibom State. He has done well in virtually years of governance. The Ring Road 3 is divided into two from the Oran Road roundabouts. Each flank of the Ring Road 3 is named after two illustrious sons of Aquaibum, Dr. Clement Isong and Otuekong Idongesetunkeanga, former governors of Cross River and Aquaibum State, respectively. We're happy that he has found it worthy that his name be mortalized. It has also shown that hard work can be rewarding. During the 35th anniversary of Aquaibum State, former President Obasanjo was on hand to inaugurate the 29-kilometer Etinandonu.
cable decorated bridges. This infrastructure that you are putting in place are very important. Anybody who knows you who is a will know that you are a man of God. Chief Obasanjo had also, in July 2021, performed the inauguration of the Ikorokwi corner flyover. Before the construction of the one kilometer flyover, the road intersection in the area was a scene of many road crashes and attendant loss of lives. It is noteworthy to mention that the road projects undertaken by the Emanuel administration are handled by reputable construction firms which have delivered world-class roads across the state, including an indigenous road construction company, Hensick Engineering Services. To most of us, in fact, about, um, I think there were four contracts. Of the four contracts, three went to indigenous uh, Companies that was in August 2015, and in order to encourage us to compete with our foreign counterparts, gave us 60% mobilization. That has never happened in the history of Akwaibu states, in the history of all the states in Nigeria, and in the history of Nigeria itself. And within one year, we were able to complete all the projects. I completed the project. Ferini completed his own project, and in 2016, His Excellency commission all our projects. So when you talk about the quality of work that is being done, the indigenous com contractors are keen to compete with their foreign counterparts. So that's why you see most of our, most of the projects done by indigenous contractors. You will not see a pothole, I can mention. Apart from the major road projects, the administration has equally made remarkable strides in the construction and rehabilitation of internal roads across the three senatorial districts of the state. Some of these roads are the construction of 6.5 km Atana Fort Road and 4.5 km internal roads in Atan community, construction of information drive, construction of 5 km with housing extension, construction of 2.6 km back urban roads, construction of 5.1 km internal roads at Stobiokpa campus of the Kwaibum State University, construction of 6.3 km urban roads in Oran, including construction of 16.5 km Secretary Road Ulyong Ediko Ureta Road. If I want to number, uh, give the number of uh, you know, internal roads that has been constructed, by the present administration, led by Governor Odom Emmanuel. Good construction that cut across so many villages, local government, and all of that. People that are living in the rural, rural area, area will be able to come out to the city to do their businesses, and this will boost their economy. And I'm doing a it has been impossible for a long time since I came to stay here. Uh, we are so grateful that the road has been done and we can now have access to our properties. So, do you want to this uh, at Dana Ford?
but it was difficult to access the university. And even at coming from the main gate, we had some issues because the entrance was so rough. We had lateral tape here, then the parties, the roads were generally very poor. But the intervention, we can see that the gate linking into the Venue for the this way goes out to Pogopole, down the other way, we're going to Kanapogopole. All the roads have been properly fixed. And there was a time when you come to school with your shoes well polished, then you're going back home with a brown shoe, then muddy areas and but Come to look at it now. We are very, very free now. Even if it's raining, just come with your umbrella and then you don't have any problem with the road. And then to ensure that Aquaibum roads are in good shape at all times, Aquaibum roads and other infrastructure maintenance agency, Acroima, has been active and alive to its core responsibilities under the administration of Governor Emanuel. Then we have gone inside the internal roads in the wet housing, in Osoma, down to um, Waniba Road, to the Five Star Hotel, We've gone the, as, as far as uh, the two road, the federal, high, federal way up to the uh, Calabar and Junction to ensure that heavy potholes and fair portions are not only rehabilitated, but some of them we try as much as possible to go down and ensure that some, uh, you know, And with that, we call it today here from Etinan, venue for the commissioning of the 3.5 kilometer Afahiman Leprosy Hospital Road with a 0 0.715 kilometer outfall drain. It's been a wonderful weather here, slight rain and sunny again, and the people have been expressing their joy for one of Governor Dom Emanuel's footprint project which is the road in this rural community on behalf of the broadcast outside broadcast crew made up of commentators of Ikaite James and Okundem and members of the crew I am Oku Ekpayong saying have a wonderful day and do enjoy the rest of our scheduled programs From dusk to dawn, 24 hours a day, NTA International is with you in your living room, office, everywhere and anywhere. We provide the company you desire in terms of balanced and up-to-date news, programs and the best of entertainment. Tune in to DSTV Channel 251, Go TV Channel 91, Freeview UK Channel 264 or you can download www.visiontv.co.uk app for ios or android you can also see us on facebook and youtube for quality content on the go nta international africa's window to the world i'm actually a passionate baker I don't rest until everything is done. When I entered university, anytime I'm broke, I'll make cupcakes and go and sell to the other students. Decorating cake is, it's an artistic thing and art is, you know, dynamic. Join us on Baker's World every Thursday on the network service of the NTA. Baker's World. Celebrating creativity. Don't miss it.
you get to see the way Tell him about the post this Don't part. forget to send in your messages. There's a difference between picking child and issue. That is it. I say, make a use my the You can do more with less people. If we have a better way of addressing these issues, taking care Congratulations. of Congratulations, you've been able to sign to Novena from RB Leipzig. Uh, so you take water before your work out. People have used their phone, using TikTok to do with them. A lot of people don't even have resources. I'm Cecil, and this is the Medley Show on NTA. NTA Parliament is a dedicated 24 hour channel that broadcasts activities of the Nigerian Senate. to overeat and as such can lead to indigestion and other stomach disorder okay so i'm here with a dietitian who is going to take us on how we can maintain a healthy eating habit my first question to you is what are the benefits of fasting benefits of fasting is weight loss weight loss a lot of people fast because they want to lose some weight although it's dependent on how long the fasting is and then the combination of foods. For one who overeats, when he or she decides to fast from eating some foods, 